bro, I'm not sure if I should say this intro. Because, like, my nigga, my fellow colored person, my fellow minority, like, the other day, my friend, my, my homie, he brought up this really interesting would you rather question. And, oh, man. Oh, I, I don't know if I should say it because it's low-key weird. If you want to see it, tell me in the comments. If you want to hear it, let me know because I really want to see what you guys are going to say. But I don't know how to feel about it. it it's low-key nasty, though. It's low-key nasty. But <laughs> moving on. So what's up, guys? How's everything going? And look, it's getting a bit late. It's like 4 a.m. on a school night. But whatever. We ain't here to talk about that. But let me get let me get serious. Let me get serious. So look, a lot of y'all since the whole Fiber One story incident where I ate like 30 fiber one bars and I don't want to get into that. That was tragic. You guys were asking for other stories, th other stories about my teachers. Like I used to talk about a lot, which I will get back into when summer hits, but you guys were asking for some things. So I thought I would tell y'all why exactly I hate why I am terrified. Why if I ever see Dr. Phil on the street, it's, it's the fade on sight, my nigga. And I thought I would just tell you guys why. So back when I used to live in like a kind of worse area, a lot worse of an area in the hood or whatever, you know, I'm not going to act like I was really up in there gangbanging or something, but I was little and we lived in a bad area and we, it, I don't know. I feel like that's why I had this nightmare, so to say, but I had this dream about Dr. Phil. So like I fell asleep, right? And I was having this dream. I was just running around my house. I, I was just running around my house like any normal kid in the hood, but any little, little minority wood in the hood you know i was just running around my house playing with my toys and i just look out the window and i see dr phil this man jumped our eight foot fence that we had set up he bursted through our screen door he bursted through the padlock he bursted through our real door and this man was strapped he had guns knives everything the whole shebang the whole kazoo my nigga like he really pulled up and my family was trying to stop him, and I'm, a, I'm in, a, like, a family of six. So that fool, like, everybody was getting it, bro. Like, Dr. Phil was, he marked every, he marked my family, bro. Like, he was just pulled in, was stabbing niggies, pulled out the Draco, just... Like, all that stuff, my nigga. Like, just going in. Like, I tried to step up to him, but keep in mind, I'm like a little five, six-year-old kid. That fool smacked the, the life out of me. Like, I went flying through the wall, bro. So, Dr. Phil just bursts through the door, kills my family, and then just knocks me through the wall. And then it was wild, too, because I had this, like, weird inception moment where I, I, like, woke up again. And I thought I was out the dream. I thought I was out the nightmare, right? And then I wake up still not knowingly in the dream in my room. And I'm just like, dang, Dr. Phil really just did that to me. And then he just burst through my room door. And I used to bunk with my sister, but my sister wasn't there for some reason. And he was covered in blood, too. So I was like, I guess he just got done with her. And this fool just snags me up, snatches me up, takes me through the air vents and just kidnaps me after murdering my family and i was just like dr phil like I, th I thought i thought i knew you better than that like catch me outside like i, th I thought i thought that was thought we had a little inside joke I, like bro you know what else is crazy dr phil makes as much money as lebron james dog like a basketball star dr phil makes the same amount of money as lebron james money like they could trade jobs and still maintain the same pay rate that's insane to me but i was just like Phil, my nigga, what's good? Bro, like, I don't know, that that still has me shook. I'm still low-key scared. Why am I talking about this? Why are y'all watching this? <laughs> Bro, what? I can't remember what I talked about for, like, the half, like, four minutes. Well, my eyes squeaked. Sorry if you heard that. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that. You guys were asking for other stories. I have other stories and stuff, and I will talk about more teachers and rant about more things. But, you know, I, I'm saving that for summer, and I get out of school in, like, two days, so, or less than two days, so I'll hit you guys up with that, but I just wanted to ramble about that really quick. So, I'm gonna get up out, what the heck, somebody just screamed outside, hope they're okay, Dr. Phil probably just pulled up on them too, now thinking about it. <laughs> Anyways, but thanks for watching, guys, really means the world to me, love you all, feel free to join the group Discord, channel Discord that we have too, if you want to know what's going on with me and other people and just want to talk and participate in the randomness and just 
wild stuff that goes on in there sometimes feel free to join links in the description sometimes it's crazy fast paced and lots of wild stuff happening other days it's really chill so it has a weird dynamic going on but i like it so let me know what you guys think or not let me know what you guys think feel free to join <laughs> i mean you can let me know what you think about this the whole dr phil thing but yeah let me know how you feel about dr phil dog but i'm about to get about thanks for watching love you all stay safe out there don't let dr phil pull up on you murder your family and then kidnap you bye